Hi, hello. My name is Pedro Lopes, and I'm the Database Security Product Manager for Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Today, we have different data protection laws across all the EU state members. This resulted from an EU directive transposition. Current laws do not consider globalization, innovative paradigms such as cloud, big data, and social. And this makes it's harder to be competitive in the EU and is really an obstacle to reach the single digital market objective. Back in 2012, the EU Commission decided to reform the data protection laws by developing a general data protection regulation. This regulation, which will not need any enabling legislation by governments, will be the same for all countries and in immediate effect after a two year transition period. Moreover, it will extend its scope to all foreign companies that process data of EU residents. Looking at the relevant timeline, we can see that at this stage there are three proposals under discussion, well, or should, should I say one proposal and two amendments, and the final agreement is expected to be closed by early 2016. Here we can see the main benefits. While this regulation will empower citizens and give them more control over their data, it also brings more responsibility to the processors and controllers of that data. The regulators will be equipped with strong enforcement powers and some administrative fines are being worked on for those who do not comply. As an example, fines can start on 2,500 euros or half percent of the total worldwide annual turnover up to 1 million euro or 2% in case organizations do not comply with the EU GDPR. A non-compliance example could be the failure to notify after a data breach or processing data without legal basis. So how can Oracle help? We could start by evaluating security risks, searching for sensitive data and classifying it, do a security configuration scanning and analyzing rules and privileges in use to reduce them to the minimum required. After finding where the sensitive data is, we could move on to protecting one of the most critical data assets in your organization, the database. Encrypting data at rest while storing the encryption key out of reach from the attacker, controlling privileged user access, for example, uh, as a person with, with DBA privileges, to application sensitive data or redacting sensitive data from application screens. For test and dev or quality assurance, the data should be anonymized and subsetted using data masking and subsetting pack. While we protect our databases, we should also be auditing and monitoring what is happening with our data. Audit Vault and Database Firewall can collect audit logs from databases, operating systems, and more. Monitor SQL commands reaching the database from the network with the database firewall and block them. Our comprehensive solutions provide multiple security controls that will help you to evaluate, protect, and detect your critical assets and who is trying to access inadvertently to your data. Not only it will be good, a good foundation to stop data breaches, but at the same time, it will help on getting compliant with a broad set of regulations, such as the upcoming EU Global Data Protection Regulation. How would all the solutions play? Let's have a look at our maximum security architecture as an instantiation of applying all the database security controls. So we could start connecting Enterprise Manager to a database where we could do configuration and compliance management and discover sensitive data. Then we could turn on in, uh, data at rest encryption with uh, dense security transparent data encryption, storing the master key on a key vault server. 
with a database firewall and database vault, we could control if uh, someone tries to bypass the application and reach the sensitive data. Applying data reduction to sensitive uh, data that is being is being displayed on screens it's is also possible with data reduction and after after all we could collect audit data and event logs coming either from native audit sources like the native database audit trail or the database firewall so oracle believes in uh, security inside out meaning that security controls should be close to the data. This approach will help to maximize performance while making security controls transparent to applications. We also believe in defense in depth, where multi-layered security controls are put together, making it harder for an intruder to hack into the system. So we should put multiple and overlapping controls in a multi-layered approach. Our best of breed solutions will also ra raise the security level across multiple systems, and we are committed to continuously innovate, bringing new security controls to address the evolving threat landscape. To know more about our database security solutions, please go to oracle.com/database/security.